Um, and thank you all the speakers before. I'm sorry I'm not used to doing this and I'm very bad at thanking people publicly. I, I said thank you to them all like quietly, but I appreciate your willingness to come and stand up here and speak to everybody and let us know what's going on with you. Um, the next person I've asked to speak is Will James from um, uh, Uprise Rhode Island. And um, he has been reporting out on all of these. He's been live streaming all these events. And he has witnessed some of the brutality firsthand. So um, I asked him if he would talk to you about it and share some of his experiences with you. So here's Will. So I do think it's kind of questionable for me to be uh, live streaming this event and then also speaking. But uh, I guess I'll just talk about why I decided to. So uh, as I've been reporting on protests here in Rhode Island since June, um, I have been included in police responses that have been given to protesters, which um, has often been uneven, uh, not targeted, and outright violent. Um, there was one time on the east side at a pretty low-key protest that a police officer pulled up directly towards me and I had to step out of the way and if I had not moved I would have been hit by the car. Um, I didn't talk about that, uh, I didn't really mention it to anyone because I try not to make myself the focus. Um, I was also pepper sprayed near the Cranston Providence border at a Jamal Gonzalez protest. So. The fact that I it, am speaking today is because even though I try to avoid bias, it's difficult to do that when the state, police officers, and any other representatives of the state target me as a member of the press when I'm trying to do my job. So I will always take everyone seriously when they raise concerns with me about um, reporting and making sure that I'm being unbiased. but. It's difficult to do that when the other side is being a bad actor, which is the state. 